Are you interested in getting a Labrador but not quite sure what the financial responsibility of getting one and owning one is? Well, we'll fill you in on everything you need to know about getting your very own lab and what to expect in the money department. the Fenrir Labrador Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Labrador and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise the perfect Labrador. So if you're a lifelong lab lover, thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Labrador, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Labrador video. So let's dive into today's video and start off with what it costs to get your very own Labrador. The cost of the dog greatly depends on whether you choose to adopt a lab from a rescue or shelter, or you decide to get one from a breeder. If you choose to rescue your new lab, the adoption fee could range anywhere from $50 up to $250. If you choose to get your lab from a breeder, this is also a great option, and is a good choice for someone who wants to have all of the history, health information, and some insight into what to expect from a temperament drive. A lab puppy can cost anywhere from $800 to $1,200. However, this can be a heftier price range if you're looking to acquire a working lab from title parents. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. I just wanted to quickly let you know, if you didn't know already, I have a completely free course on the principles of canine behavior. As a canine behaviorist, I've put this together with my years of experience, skill set, and knowledge to help you understand all the areas of canine behavior that are important for you to become a high level canine leader. And then you can fix your dog's problem behaviors at home, or maybe take the first steps into working with dogs with problem behaviors. So again, if you want to check out that course, it's completely free of charge. The principles of canine behavior, there'll be a link down in the description box below, and I can't wait to see you over on that course. The next significant financial consideration is if the dog isn't close enough for you to drive and pick it up yourself. How will you get it home and what might that cost? If it's not close by, you can add additional expenses for transportation. Ground transporter fees range anywhere from $300 to $700, depending on how far they take the dog. This can also be something of an issue as companies who do ground transport for pets tend to have routes and they are only in some areas at select times. So you may need to wait until the transporter is in the area to pick up the dog. If the dog is too far to be driven and flying is your only option left, there are a few choices on how to do this. Puppies can fly by themselves up to a certain weight as long as it is a domestic flight. The average for this is $350 for a medium sized puppy like the lab and depending on where it's being flown to and from. Adult dogs might be more troublesome and you can expect to pay over the estimated $350. If the puppy needs an international flight to get home, you have two options. Option number one is to go to wherever the dog is and fly back with them. The second option is to hire a company that offers a service to pick up the puppy and they will fly with it to your closest airport. Puppies and dogs coming from another country cannot fly alone as someone needs to be there to check the dog into customs. The first option can be anywhere from $400 to $1,000 just for the dog, not including your own plane ticket. Option two is more costly because you need to pay the charge with the airline for the dog, the company's fee, and the handling fee. This will be a minimum of $1,200. You will also need toys, treats, bowls, a crate, collar, leash, vaccinations, parasite prevention, and food at a bare minimum. Here's the breakdown for these items. Toys, $50. Decent quality treats, $15. Bowls, $14. Crate, $50. Collar, $25, leash, $15, good quality food, $45, vaccinations, $109, not including boosters, and parasite prevention is $60 for a six month supply. If we go with the puppy from the higher price range because of the health concerns with this breed at $1,000, no transportation needed, and our bare bones list, you'll be looking at $1,383 from day one. There are a few health problems with labs to be aware of, but the most common ones are bloat and entropion, and the surgeries to correct these can be costly. Hip dysplasia surgery can cost $3,500 to $7,000 for surgery on one hip, and if your dog needs attention on both sides, this number doubles. The surgery for entropion, which is a condition where the dog's eyelid is prone to rolling in and getting stuck, can be between $500 to $1,500. The average amount of lab cost per year is around $1,200 on the scale's low end. That is the equivalent 
equivalent of purchasing a new puppy every year. This amount can fluctuate though if you choose to do an all raw diet, go to a groomer, or use doggy daycare services. A combination of these things can quickly push your yearly expenses into the thousands. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Labrador videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Labrador Show.